June 3rd at WFF 34 Slade Ring going to be in action against Josh Rios. Thank you for the time, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing good, you? I'm doing good. Looking to get back in that win column. How are you feeling? I'm feeling real good, you know. I, my last fight was in uh, January, so, you know, had a little layoff. Got a lot better, you know. That one looking to rebound. It seems like so far in your career it's been submission win or decision loss. Does it feel like a bad cycle? Yeah, whenever it goes to the judges' hands, it's always, you know, going the other way. And uh, I don't plan on ever bringing it to the judges again, so. That last one out at Sparta Combat League in January, what did you take away? What did you learn? Well, with that fight, it was mostly uh, diet because I was walking around heavier and uh, I was trying to gain more muscle and everything and I just, uh, it is a pretty hard weight cut so I'll just stay around my uh, weight class and so it'll be a really easy cut so I don't have that problem again. We've seen you in the amateurs now for a couple of years, We've seen you down as low as 25. It does look like now you're starting to thicken, you're starting to broaden. Do you feel that? Yeah, I definitely feel that. And how has that been in training, kind of getting that different size on now? Well, it's definitely helping a lot in the grappling and wrestling and uh, the striking. It's, you know, just add a little more power, but I definitely feel a lot in my wrestling and uh, grappling. Talking about your striking, where do you feel your hands are at? We know you're a kicker, good kicks. We see that a lot out of you. Where do you feel your hands are in catching up to those kicks? Well, I'm doing a lot, lot more drilling with my strikes and... Uh, I, I just feel I'm getting better. I want to start, you know, keeping it standing more and then, uh, yeah, and then whenever it goes to the ground, I'll just go for the submission. Josh Rios, the opponent in this one, what do you know about him? Um, I know his last two fights was at um, flyweight for a title. And he lost both of them by submission. His wins were by submission, so I guess he's more of a grappler, but he goes out pretty fast on his feet, so you know, I'll be ready for anything. So you're expecting him to come right at you then fast on the feet, so starting early? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Now what are some keys for you in this camp? Um, well, I'm just going to be working on everything, you know. There's nothing really that I'm working on spe uh, specifically, you know, because I want to be an all-around good fighter, and I'm just going to take it wherever it goes. And then in doing that, where do you need to close those gaps to become more well-rounded? Where have been your just big focus is not maybe this camp, but over the last six months that you've had this time? Um, well, I've been working a lot on my wrestling. My wrestling is one of my weaknesses, and my striking, my jiu is, is real good up there, I believe. But, uh, yeah, so I've just been focusing a lot on my wrestling and striking. We know about your jiu-jitsu, jiu and it was such a weapon of yours that at some points it almost become, you know, a, uh, a, uh, a negative where you were too accepting of being on your back hunting for the submissions? Definitely. That happened a couple times where I just, uh, um, I just like, and, like kind of give them the top position so I could go for my submissions and, you know, they'd be really good at defending it or... Um, wrestling, just negating all my jits and stuff, so I've been working on, you know, kind of getting away from that, going on my back all the time. So, so working on the wrestling, I want to be in your back, so you'd like to be on top if possible this yeah. fight, just to get yeah. that done, right? Yep, that's the plan. And now what kind of motivation do you take into this fight? Um, well, just, just these last few losses, man, it's just been really getting to me, and uh, I don't ever want to leave it in the hands of the judges again, so if I get this, when I get this fight, I'm going to end it. So. And you've been able to do that, so you do take pride in it that your, that your wins have been finishes? Yeah, definitely. It's, it really boosts my confidence, and uh, you know, some of those decision wins, I believe, were really, you know... Very close. Yeah, but uh, I, don't, I don't ever want to leave it to the judges again. So. And then about this experience you've been getting, I believe outside of the Jackson's MMA series, I don't think you fought for a promotion twice. So different states, different promoters, against different gyms, different looks. What has that been like for you on the learning experience side? 
Well, I think it's really good, you know, uh, building a report with all these different promoters and stuff, and they know who I am, you know, and, uh, like, I'd be ready to fight whenever if they want me, then I'll be ready. What do you have to do to get this victory come June 3rd? Just train as hard as I can, give them 100%, you know. I, I'm looking for a finish in the first round, but I'm not going to look over him. You know, I don't want to be too overconfident, and, uh, but I'm going to give him 100% and end it. And to throw out a random question, favorite martial arts movie of all time? Uh, I don't know, I'd probably say, uh, <laughs> South Park, yeah. Give us a reason. Um, well, I don't know. full whack, mate. And I heard a lot, a lot, a Just liked it? Yeah. The story spoke it, to you? Yeah, is, yeah, I think it was really good and I liked it. Slater Ring, thank you for the time. <laughs>